And now to do a brief summary of all we've discussed in this module. So to summarize, transmissibility of infectious diseases can be measured in two ways. The probability of people being infected, depending on their exposure type, and these are attack rates. Or the number of cases caused by an infectious individual, and this is the reproductive number. The basic reproductive number tells us transmissibility in a fully susceptible population, and as susceptibility decreases, so does the reproductive number. Three distributions provide criti critical information on the natural history of disease as it relates to transmission and control. The incubation period, that is the time to symptom onset. The latent period, that is the time to becoming infectious. And the generation time, that is the time between subsequent generations of infection. Possibility for control and performance of control measures can be understood in terms of these quantities, both the natural history quantities and the transmission quantities. So this ends our lecture on the transmission of infectious diseases and basic disease dynamics.